Phoenix Gaming. I am, of course, Phoenix, and today is going to be another review. I'm going to be reviewing the Eclipse Intel Cruiser, which is the uh, one of the new Tier 6 ships that came out when Delta Rising was uh, launched. So, without further ado, let's get to it. We'll talk to Lieutenant Laurel here, and let's get the information on this new ship. Alright, and let's go to tier 6. So, there it is. So, this is the Eclipse Intel Cruiser. And so, starting off, you get a uh, Lieutenant Commander Tactical. A Lieutenant Commander uh, Engineering, a Commander Engineering slash Intelligence Station, a Lieutenant Science slash Intelligence Station, and an Ensign Universal Station. For consoles, you have five Engineering, three Tactical, and two Science. Uh, for weapons, you have four, four, four aft, a base hull of uh, 42,283. Uh, that's slightly higher than what I'm seeing here on Snow Wiki. It says uh, uh, 40,425. That could be the modifiers because of the uh, uh, maybe the equipment I have on the ship. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and uh, shield modifier of 1. Base crew of uh, 350. Base turn rate of 10. Impulse modifier of 0 0.17. Inertia rating of 55, uh, and it comes with three device slots. Um, so this cruiser comes with a ton, a ton of stuff here. Uh, you get plus 10 power to weapons and plus power or 10 power to uh, engines. Uh, it can load dual cannons, which is really, really handy because uh, uh, I was, oh, I only got to fly the ship just like within the uh, in the solar system. And it, it flies quite nicely. So um, it does come with an internal cloaking device. So that, uh, there's no console for that. So it doesn't take up a console slot, which is nice. Uh, warp signature masking, which is uh, a passive ability. It's always and it's always active. Uh, it comes with the uh, universal console structural integrity field siphon, which I will go over later. So it comes with the active sensor analysis. So gather intelligence is the one. Uh, where you gather the intelligence on the vessel and then you can expose vulnerability of defense, uh, vulnerability uh, weapon systems, and uh, critical systems. Uh, starship ability package, battle cruiser, uh, absorptive plating, enhanced weapon banks, enhanced plating, armored hull, uh, battle, uh, battle ready, which is a ship trait. And then it comes with two of the four uh, cruiser communications array. It comes with strategic maneuvering. And weapon systems efficiency so uh, that is it for the stats lots and lots of stats on this guy um, but it is kind of a cruise it is a cruiser so therefore it's gonna have uh, some uh, some beefiness to it um, when I was when I was when I got the Eclipse I was really really hesitant because I, I kind of wanted to get the Guardian as well uh, let's see here there's two types eh? regular skin and Kind of this new skin, eh? All right. So, anyways, yeah, I was, I, I was looking at, um, at uh, these two here, um, and so I was really, really torn and whatnot. Um, but in the end, I decided to go with this one. Maybe later on, I'll get this one, and then, uh, and then hopefully, I'll get the, uh, the scryer. Is it scryer? I, I don't know. The science type vessel for the. The, the Intel science vessel. Anyways, um, you can purchase this for 3,000 Zen, or you can <clears throat> get it through the uh, Delta Rising pack, which is probably, uh, you're probably saving a lot more money that way. Um, but anyways, um, also a huge shout out to uh, actually the people uh, at this technical support with Cryptic or Perfect World. Um, I accidentally put Zen into my other account when I was supposed to put it in this account so I could do this review. And so I put in a ticket, and they did uh, they did the transfer uh, for me. So um, 
So shout out to those guys for, for that. Um, so anyways, let us continue with the review. And we're going to look at the ship. All right, so there is the in uh, the eclipse. All right, so first of all, when I look at this, I look at um, a different type of Prometheus class type vessel, not a cruiser. I see more of an escort than I do anything. Um, I sh if I can get a comparison between the uh, Prometheus and uh, and this guy, um, I think this might be a little bit bigger. But anyways. Um, here you have uh, almost a uh, kind of a, almost a diamond shaped saucer section and uh, and the deflector dish is right below it's a squared deflector dish um, and it looks like there's like a, like, like a triangular piece that kind of sticks right out but it is square <clears throat> And let's see here. And I got this piece here. I don't know what this piece here is, but that's um, it's part of a sh it's part of the ship, obviously. Um, I don't know if it's part of the hull, and it's just it's a glowing piece. I don't know for sure. Um, when you do change the saucer to Eclipse Beta, uh, it's it's a solid piece here, and you can't see anything there. So there's that. I like this because it's kind of nice. Um, then you have the hull here. Um, very, very small. Again, kind of looks like the like a like a smaller version of the Prometheus um, hull. And uh, very, very small. You got the impulse engines there. Looks like a shuttle bay there. And uh, kind of uh, triangle near the end there bit of a point there uh, you have the pylons which uh, you know they they curve upwards in almost in a small little arch and that's both for the top and the bottom and either side now the interesting design is the, uh, <clears throat> the warp nacelles here um, they are very they're, they're very thin very flat and uh, uh, and they're they're interesting. Um, this kind of looks like one of the designs off of the uh, patrol escort, where they kind of look like this. Um, uh, very very. You don't see much of the of the actual nacelle or even the ram scoops here. I changed this one to the eclipse beta, so that because the eclipse is all blue, so I went with the eclipse beta instead, um, just so that you know you get the slight differences there. Um, anyways. Uh, a lot more angled anything um, and then you have the ends here which come into a nice little sharp point here so there we go and then I don't know I don't know if these are part of the warp nacelles or something but it might be it might be a bit of a exhaust for the warp nacelles or something like that but anyways that is that's the uh, the Eclipse cruiser it's very very nice and sleek um, it's designed so that uh, it doesn't show up on sensors as much um, or there's a less chance of it showing up on sensors. Alright, so next I'm going to just quickly go over some of the stuff here. You got Eclipse, Eclipse Beta. I like the uh, the blue, so go with that one. And then you have the lower nacelles here. So you can you can go with all, all these nacelles here. I kind of like the Scryer on this. I think I think that kind of looks really really cool. So there's that. Um so you can get the eclipse, eclipse beta which basically the only difference is the red. So this one's all blue, this one has the red and then the blue. So that's up to whoever to decide that uh if you want that or not. Um and then you have the pylons and then so you have the eclipse and the Eclipse Beta, and the Beta ones are, uh, they separate. So, you get a much wider uh, area. So, and I like doing this. This is kind of neat. I hate when that pops up. I 
really wish they would fix that. To me, that kind of looks like uh, like the heavy cruiser. Now you have a heavy cruiser with small pylons <laughs> or warp missiles. So that's kind of cool. Um, big head, little body. <laughs> but anyways, that is that. And of course, you have there we go um so there's that and then you have obviously the uh um uh, the patterns which if you go with the the intel uh material you'll get the intelligence patterns and um i'm gonna change the bridge actually which bridge should i go with order giant trunk uh, which one seems hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Triumph. That would be suiting of a uh, Intel ship. Alrighty. So there's that. Not much uh customizations unfortunately. Unless you change the uh the material and then the windows obviously you can go with Intel now this is a bug that they really need to fix we just want the, the windows to be changed not the material so if anyone from cryptic is watching please uh, fix this bug please please just fix it so um, because that's that's really annoying. It was fixed for a bit, and then now it's it's reverted back. All right, so yes, cancel that. All right, so next uh, we're gonna go and see the ship up in space. Get maybe a bit of a closer look at it. See if there's any details I might have missed, and uh, and then uh, I'll go over my loadout and whatnot and. Uh, and uh, and uh, I'll explain uh, what uh, what I've done. All right, we are back. Okay, so here's a bit of a closer look at. Oh, I forgot to mention this is where the, your uh, your intelligence gathering uh, little drone will come from. Is right there. Um, I'm just trying to see here. Uh, see if I'm missing anything. I don't think I'm missing anything. I think I got everything just the way it is. So. There's that. Um, so let's look at my loadout here. Close that. All right. So because it loads cannons, and I, I'm a huge fan of cannons because I think they're a lot better than beams. Um, so I have the dual heavy cannons with accuracy times two and critical hit. The wide arc phaser uh, dual heavy cannon with uh, uh, accuracy times two and critical hit. Dual beam bank. Accuracy times two, critical hit, and another uh, dual heavy cannon with accuracy times two. I have the Mako set with the Oblique uh, Subspace Rift Warp Core. Uh, for the back, I have uh, the Kinetic Cutting Beam, the Omnidirectional Phaser Beam Array, which gives me accuracy, arc, and damage. Uh, I have a Phaser Turret. Uh, unfortunately, it has accuracy, critical hit, and damage. I wasn't able to get one that matched this one. Uh, it was like over a million or something like that, so I was like, no, I don't have that. Uh, and I have a biomolecular phaser beam array because I couldn't afford another one, so I have to go with this, unfortunately, which gives, which is going to give me a critical hit times two. Uh, for damage, I have a shield battery, subspace modulator, and the red matter capacitor. For engineering, uh, I have two neutroniums, the uh, assimilated module, and I... I'm not sure if this is going to work. I got the Hydrodynamics uh, Compensator, and that's going to give me plus three engine power settings, plus three auxiliary power settings, uh, plus 17.3 starship targeting sensor, uh, systems, which is going to improve my weapon accuracy, and 23.1% flight turn rate. So that's pretty much why I got it. Was was those last two pieces? Was the uh, targeting system and the flight turn rate? Um, so I don't have all the other stuff. So I don't get any bonuses with that. Uh, I have uh, uh, field generators, two of them, and then oh, oh excuse me, and then I have uh, phaser relays here. Uh, this is uh, 
this is the universal console, the structural integrity field siphon. So to, to self, it does 10,000 temporary hit points for 30 seconds. Additional 2,500 temporary hit points for 30 seconds per foe. So if there's like a whole bunch of enemies around you, this would actually really be awesome for uh, mirror invasion because uh, I've noticed when I've been playing uh, in my phantom, uh, I tend to aggro, uh, well, I don't aggro. What happens is they, they bunch up in one section and then I'll just go in and I'll aggro the, all of them. And, uh, and this is where this would be very, very handy is in this part right here. You do that and you're going to get like a whole bunch of additional temporary hit points for 30 seconds. And that's going to help you uh, kick some, some butt. Uh, and that does 455.4 connect damage for 5 seconds every 0.5 seconds. 50% shield penetration up to 5 uh, foes within 5 kilometer radius. Uh, vulnerable foe damage has 100% shield penetration. So it uh, doesn't matter. Um, so that's, that's how I have my build set up so far. Uh, for traits, I have I've changed these. I have nano uh, pro feedback when hit by directed energy attacks. You have a 10% chance to reflect 100% of incoming directed energy damage back to the attacker. Uh, so there's that. And then I have a field generator. Um, nano pro field generator when suffering damage, 10% chance to reduce damage to shields by 5% for 15 seconds. Uh, the chance is doubled versus Undine. And I have uh, enhanced armor penetration, uh, so 5% armor penetration. So um, this is actually a really, really handy uh, ability. Um, I've noticed that my DPS has actually shot up because part of this is one of the reasons. And I have the Omega Graviton Amplifier, so to target 2.5% chance, 751.4 connect damage with 100% shield penetration on directed energy attacks. Double damage versus Borg, 5% uh, chance to trigger on torpedo and mine attacks. So, um, so that's going to help out my kinetic beam, I think, because it's kinetic damage. So, um, the build you're basically seeing that I've done here, uh, I've no noticed that I actually got rid of a torpedo um, because, and I was very hesitant because I do enjoy the torpedoes. I, I like how they just, you know, they just shove that torpedo right into their hull and they tend to explode. Um, but I've noticed that uh, my DPS keeps up without the torpedo. And um, thanks to actually a fellow fleet member, uh, my name is uh, uh, Rhinax, I think that's how you pronounce your name. I apologize if I torture it. Um, but he he suggested he made a huge wall of text on on one of my on my phantom intel he gave me these uh these these hints and so uh i i did my best to implement what he had said um i made I made some minor minor changes um because either i wasn't able to obtain those uh items or um just you know a little bit of old habits kind of die hard too so um but i've noticed that my uh uh, that my damage, my DPS has, has hugely increased. Um, you know, I'm, and that's why I, I run into those big mobs in the mirror universe, and I just start aggroing them because I can take it. Um, usually, uh, you know, I, I do tend to explode at some point, but uh, for the most part, you know, I aggro them so they're more focused on me than on the station or anything else, and I and the other players can focus on the rifts and get those closed. Um, so that, that helps out the team that way. Um, so anyways, uh, that's the build I have done so far. So stations um, for the Lieutenant Commander Tactical, I have uh, Tactical Team 1, uh, Beam Overload 2, and Rapid Fire 2. Uh, for the Ensign, is just a tactical team. <clears throat> Uh, for the commander, I have engineering team one, uh, power to shields two, directed energy modulation two, and the H Aceton beam two. Uh, for the commander, lieutenant commander engineering, I have emergency power to auxiliary one. I'm not sure if this is going to work. 
Um, but I figured if, if I need to uh, uh, change some stuff, it might work. I don't know. Probably power to engines might be better. But I'm just I'm giving this a shot. I'm going to see how well it works. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so it does um, repairs disabled auxiliary systems. Plus 60 uh, stealth for 30 seconds. 3 kilometer penetra uh, perception radius. 20, plus 22.7 auxiliary power settings for three, uh, 30 seconds. Plus 10 uh, starship graviton generators. Improve, improves knock and repel and slow. Uh, 10, plus 10 uh, starship particle generators. Improves exotic damage. Plus 10 percent or 10 uh, shield subspace uh, decompiler. Improves hold and disable. So maybe this is not. But um, it's it's got some benefits to it. So, and then energy to uh, power to uh, weapons two, which uh, greatly improves the damage that I will be doing. I have reverse shield polarity two, and then for the science, I have hazard emitters one and science team two. So, um, again, a lot of uh, a lot of things to help with my my shield and my hulls because that's that's something that you really do need so there's that um, so that is that so let's see what uh, what trouble we're gonna get into I'll probably do a Borg disconnect um, because that seems to be the more or less the uh, the more harder uh, mission to do uh, and even on normal you don't you don't succeed um, they don't give you enough time to actually destroy all three uh, near the end, but um, it is is still hard because you still have enemies coming at you left, right, and center. So, anyways, we're I'm gonna pause the video. We're gonna uh, we're gonna cue that up, and then we are gonna fly into battle and see how well this ship does. All right. So let's see here. Okay. So it looks like we got uh, we got an Odyssey, a Sovereign, a uh, Battle Cruiser, and a Shimitar. Why is everyone going this way? Oh, Jesus, these people don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, man. That's going to hurt a little bit. Alrighty. Oh, someone decided, hey, maybe we should split up. I love that. Adios muchachos. Okay, good.
Seem to be bunching up with this guy here. Ah, oh, sugar. Alright, come on. There we go. to enable auto loot on this. Alrighty. <clears throat> Whoa. Cube coming at us. Let's do some of that. Whoa. Uh, uh, engage that. Gather intelligence on that. Alright, where's that other board cube? Oh, oops, I accidentally activated the uh, stasis field thingy. Jeez, where's all these Borg cubes coming from? My goodness. Oh, get shields back up line. Come on. Holy bejeebus. Wow. Row. Five. Oh man, my shields. Neil, my shields. There we go. I'm gonna die. Whoa. Okay, I need fleet support. Oh. Man, come on. Oh. Come on. Whoa. Oh, darn it. I couldn't get my shields back up in time. Well, that's the pits. Ugh.
over here and I'll help this guy here. Is there two over there already? I can't tell. Oh, I'll get these guys here. Oh, hate the Voth. Understand what the heck these guys are doing. We don't need four people over there, we need two. At least. Stupid lockbox. Whoa, what happened to my shields? Jesus. What is going on with my shields? Jeez. That's ah, not from the cube. Oh. Ah. Really wish you could cut the uh, cut out these cutscenes. Uh All right, I need shields back up. Okay. Who are we getting for first? That's the question. It looks like we're taking Several out. Those guys are going for the board cube. I have no idea.
Hello. I'm right beside you. Mind if I take some pot shots at you? Alright. That sounds like a good plan. Guess what? Oh, where'd you go? Where did you go? Hey, hey, when they do that. Guess what? Thunderball! Peekaboo! Get more oomph out of my firepower there. Oh, shoot. Come on, fire. Why are you not firing? Keep firing, you a-holes. I stuck. Okay, I'm getting a little too close here. I don't like that. Maybe we can push him. There he goes. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh, so there's one down. Oh, they haven't even gotten to this guy yet. Okay. Auxiliary power. I don't think we're going to make it. Yeah, didn't finish in time. That's okay. So, yes, okay. Thank you, 79. Okay. So, not good, not bad. Uh...